on the air with us right now. Gentleman's been involved in this thing from the beginning. Pastor Jamal Bryant, looking forward to seeing you tomorrow at the First Shiloh Baptist Church. This thing has gotten so much bigger and justifiably so. How you doing? Man, I'm grieved, distressed, and expecting at the same time. Aren't you mad too, Pastor? Aren't you a little mad? I I feel like I'm in a time zone. Just three weeks ago, we were in the march from Selma to Montgomery, and it feels like we're back in Selma all over again. How about that? What what do we expect to happen at the at this rally? I know what I expect to happen. I need a showing a demonstration, people showing that we care and that we will not allow our children to be murdered. I'm very excited. Uh, Reverend Sharpton is coming in tomorrow night, uh, but the main national rally is going to be on Monday, and we've got buses, Michael, coming in from Howard University, from Southern, from FAMU. Young people are really taking this on because this really is a fight for the rights of young African Americans across the country. You know, Pastor Jamal, you, you got to be shaking your head like the rest of the country going, what is the problem? Why hasn't this young man been arrested? What is the energy like on the ground in Sanford, Florida? In Sanford, Florida, they are resolved and distraught at the same time. They can't believe that this really says that our children are in danger. If you are, in fact, a terrorist because you got Skittles, everybody better eat Snickers because it's really a wake-up call that racism is still alive and our children have to be educated about the process. What's the message that our men need to send? We know the women are going to come out as they always do. What do you want to say to the men, Pastor Jamal? I want to say that men are an endangered species and we'll protect whales and we'll protect zebras but we got to protect our black boys. And this is an obvious and apparent. Trayvon Martin is, in fact, all of our sons, all of our nephews, all of our godsons, and all of our neighbors. So I need all of our men to please stand. You took a pledge at the Million Man March. Now I need you to cash that check. Pastor Jamal Bryan, uh, of course, uh, you're out of Baltimore. Why did you think it was important to come down to Sanford, and why do you think other you know, clergy need to do the same? I, I think every church ought to be morally outraged that this is not just a civil rights issue but it is really a Christianity issue. Every church, every mosque, every synagogue ought to be preaching the same thing about justice and mercy and grace. Frederick Douglass said, I prayed for 20 years, nothing happened until I got off my knees and started marching with my feet. And that's the role of the church. We already prayed about it. Now let's take action on it. See, that's what I'm talking about. That's why That's why I like you, and I think that's why a lot of people uh, respect you, because, you know, preaching is one thing, but action yeah. is necessary to make change. Wouldn't you say that, Pastor Brian? At the back of my home church where I grew up, it says, you've come to worship, now leave to serve. It's not just about shouting and speaking in tongues, but what are you doing after the benediction? And a real reflection about what we do after church really says we're Christian more than what we do while we're in church. Hey, George, you hear Pastor Jamal say, if Skittles going to get us killed, we better start eating Snickers. You got that right, and Mr. Goodbar <laughs> something. We're asking everybody who can't make it to Sanford, people have been asking uh, Michael, you, or you on Twitter, me on Facebook, asking everybody, what do I do? I want everybody to send a bag of Skittles to the Sheriff's Department and say, we're going to keep inundating them until he understands that this is something that's not sweet to us, but it's going to leave a sour taste if black America doesn't see justice. Hey, Pastor Jamal, I know we never had a chance to meet before, but I'm looking forward to meeting you for the first time at First Shiloh Baptist Church. Oh, it's going to be absolutely incredible, and I can't wait for all of our community to come together. I said something yesterday, Michael, there's nothing black America has ever protested where we lost. Whenever we come together, we always see victory. So if we come together, I think that we're going to make a difference.